Hey everyone and welcome to this quick video on inputting expenses and the approval process for those expenses. So all expenses are logged via your Sage Live app on your iPhone. I can jump in at the bottom, there's a little tab and I can create an expenses journal. So obviously I'll create the name for this journal. Um, it could be the name of the, the event I'm attending or the customer and I can jump in and I can add the details. For instance, the tax, the date of the journal, and also I can link it to a department. Once I've entered the header level, I can then link that um, header level to individual lines on my expense claim. So perhaps I might order some dinner. Let's pop that in here. Okay, I can enter a specific reference if I want to, and I just type in the amount. Not a particularly expensive dinner, um, but, uh, oh, hang on a second, uh, slightly, <laughs> could have been slightly more expensive. And of course, I can link again on the individual line, rele the relevant tax codes. I can give it a type. So in this case, you'll see I've got a drop down list. Of, and of course, this can be customized to, you know, to what you want to record. So here I'm going to link it to a hotel. And then I can link it to a specific supplier if I wish. Um, looking, going down, who am I going to link it to? Um, I'm going to pick up the good company. Okay. In addition, I can link this expense to a specific project. So when I do my project reporting, it will come up in there. And then the fun bit, I can actually link um, the, the a picture of my receipt. Um, I'm just going to authorize Sage Live to use the camera. And you'll notice that I can actually take a picture of the receipt and attach it to the expense. Okay. So once we've done that, we click the done button at the top. You can see the details of all of the lines I've got attached to my expense claim. I click save and we've lodged it. Now at this point, I can build custom approval routes and you'll see that I've got an alert or in fact, the authorizer has an alert and the authorizer has received an email and you can choose the type of communication that you wish. So that authorizer would then dial in with their phone see the detail of that notification and all of this is done via chatter so you can respond if you wish and they can either approve or reject that specific um, travel expense or in this case a food expense i can put a response i could be particularly nice and i'm going to approve it but say you had an issue with it you could put the reasons in there and then that expense is then posted and put onto the ledger 